Debbie Dashinger, and we're going to talk about how you can write and publish your book in 60 days or less. And Debbie has launched a lot of international media superstars. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about her. I'm just going to read her bio so I don't leave anything out. And then Debbie's coming on live uh, from her living room to join us. She is an expert in living a daring life and an expert in media, and she is a sought-after consultant who provides media makeovers for Global Messengers. I wanted to do this live for all of you because Debbie did a makeover for me that has been truly life-changing. She is intuitive. She prepared for hours before our meeting. It was the most prepared VIP session I've ever had with any coach at any time. I was completely blown away. I'm still working my way down the list. Even doing this Facebook video was part of her suggestion, getting my podcast out. I'm about to work on my book. You know, she has been just such a blessing in my life, and I hope she's a blessing in yours. Uh, you may have seen her on stage. She does a lot of hosting for live streams and red carpet events. She does a lot of celebrity interviews, and she's obviously an amazing coach. Uh, and her fame, her, her, her claim to fame is her ability to help you become a best-selling author uh, and to help finesse your media appearances. She does great media training. Uh, her show, her talk radio show, Dare to Dream, has been syndicated on 66 stations. And I'm going to have her share about her program, and she'll give out the link when we talk, because I'm not sure which link to give out, and I want to be sure we give out the right link. Uh, but her program is a guaranteed service for authors uh, to help their books become bestsellers. And she is the media mastery mentor who helps you ace media interviews, and she offers PR kits and teaches messaging skills to clients to help you become an even more successful leader in your industry. And as you know, I am here to help leaders on purpose become better leaders, and get their message out to a wider audience, help people become the leaders of their own life. Uh, so with that, I could go on and on and on. I have a bio that just goes on and on and on because Debbie is so accomplished. She's so amazing. She's so beautiful. I was telling her today when we were prepping for this interview, she's one of the most uh, loving, amazing people that I have ever ever known. And I just am going to open up your comments on Facebook. I love that we can do um, this. Um, loving, amazing people that I have ever... See, I had to turn down the volume on my phone, right? It's like, somebody's going to figure out how to do both, aren't they? Where's that tech person? So with that, I'm going to bring on the gorgeous, amazing, stellar Debbie Dashinger. Here she comes. Here she comes, bringing her on. Do, 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 do. Here she comes. All right, where is she? Debbie, where are you? Where'd she go? Here she is. Oh, there she is. Okay, boom. Here she is. Hi, Debbie. Where are you? Okay, hang on. There we go. Ding. Hi. Start my video. Start so my good to video. have you. Hi. Hi. It's so good to be here. Thank you for that amazing, delicious introduction. I've well, really it is. I'm so honored to be with you. You know how much I love you personally and professionally, and you've been such an asset in my life. So I thought we could take questions. A lot of people are writers in this community or already published or they're wanting to publish. So maybe you could tell us, first of all, what is the value of having a published book and why is it so important to one's media presence? You know, the first two things I want to address as far as books go is it is the way to exponentialize your message. And you can speak from stage, you can have a podcast, radio show. There are a lot of ways to get your information out into the world. A book is a beautiful way that you'll reach people all around the world that you wouldn't know, but also people that you work with or maybe interested in working with you, or maybe you have a novel or a children's book, whatever the genre is, but you basically have a way to express yourself, live out loud through a book. I think it's an incredible legacy to pass on to people you love and know. And I have to say that today, more than ever, with all the distractions and all the people and populace, it's so important mm. to know how to be visible successfully. And a book is one of those ways to do it. Yeah, it definitely is. So I'm so glad uh, that you're here. And welcome to everyone that's joined us, Terry and Dee Marie and Kelly and Sophie. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Really glad to have you, Jolie Jolie. If you have any questions about your book writing, please Put them in the Facebook feed 
because we're able to take your questions live. We're also recording this, so we'll send out the replay. If you can only stay for 20 minutes, we hope you stay for the whole thing, but we will send it out. Thank you for the love, and please, please, please post your book questions. So, Debbie, for someone who, let's say for the person who hasn't written that first book, mm -hmm. what are the biggest pain points or resistance people come up against in writing a book? Like, what stops people? 80% of people, great statistic, 80% of people will not write a book. And that's a terrible statistic. They get stopped because, first of all, they don't know how to write a book. I mean, they have the best of intentions, and then they think about it or sit down, and they have no clue where to start, no clue how to get it, grind it out, no clue how to finish it. What the heck does a manuscript look like? Uh, there's people who will write a few chapters and just get so exhausted by themselves. There are people who get highly distracted by family, by obligations, by jobs, by me social media, and not complete. But I would say not completing and not doing it properly are the two biggest things. And many people start to get into the process and they get super overwhelmed. When in fact, when you understand the methodology behind doing a book, and how to do it properly, it's so easy. And that's why I'm teaching this class how to write a book in 60 days. And I want to say that for any of us, when you're given a recipe, if I give you the recipe to bake a cake and you follow that exact recipe, you're gonna bake the cake. And so if you wanna write a book and you wanna do it successfully, you can follow the recipe to do it with your own words, your own authentic voice, whatever it is that you're here to give, message to, and you can do it successfully. Mm, it's really, really inspiring. So let's say someone decides they're going to do this and they're finally, finally going to get support. Mm -hmm. Tell us about uh, your program. Walk us through a bit what the program is. Because when we were talking earlier today, I want to share something you said. You said you're doing it by teleseminar, correct? By audio. So people won't have to be visible, which I thought was really brilliant. So can you say more about how you're delivering the program and a little bit about how it's structured? So someone who's really ready to write that book and get it done with support, what can they expect? Yeah, I actually chose not to do a webinar because I feel like writing a book is this very sacred inner journey and uh, out or onto the page or the computer. And I wanted to set this up so it was incredibly safe and not anonymous. I mean, we may know who you are. There will be participants. We'll know your name. You'll know my name. I'm there with you live every week. But I wanted you to feel nested. I wanted mm. you to feel like there was a space where you could be creative and let your imagination rip and not worry so much about what you look like or how you're being perceived out there. And also, because we're gonna have the opportunity during the class to read our work, this is a mastermind experience. So as we get into the weeks, there's an opportunity for you to volunteer and you can read a few pages, a, a chapter if you like, and we're there to give you a lot of support on your work going out to the world. Oh, and great. if that's so, it's great not to see you, right? We just want to listen to your words. We want to listen to the story like an audio book go through us. And as far as the class, to answer the rest of your question, this is set up very much on purpose. First class, first thing we're going to do a meet and greet. Why are you here? What genre are you considering? And then I'm going to break it down exactly what you need to do to get to the finish line of your book by the end of 60 days. So eight weeks live with me, super possible. The other thing is if you're gonna write a book, why not write a great book? <laughs> so I'm gonna teach how to do a page turner. I'm also gonna teach how to get through writer's block and give you a lot of really fantastic tips, how to show up and let your creativity rip instead of being stymied or overthinking things. I have in the corner an amazing expert who's put out a great amount of work and he's an amazing author and he is joining one of our classes as the guest expert. He's going to be coming in to teach his point of view on writing a book 
and joining us for the mastermind portion. I'm very excited because I think adding new energy is very good. So tell us, there's how many classes? There's eight classes. Eight. And then just give us the headers of each class so people kind of understand the process. So they come in, meet and greet, what kind of book they want to write, why they're there, what they hope to get out of it. And then just, just the, the bullets for each of the classes. What, what can they expect in that, in that eight-week process? Sure, absolutely. And I have to laugh because right behind me on this chair is a bag this big with all the stuff for the class for me. Because <laughs> you mentioned the beginning, I'm a huge researcher and I, I do. I'm putting a lot of work into this. So ahead of time, I know exactly the layout and how this is going to unfold. So um, I may do a little uh, jump over here. I'm Great. For sure. Here. Yeah, let's, so can, let's do it. Yeah. So I can um, take a look and see. I didn't know you were going to great. that. And, yeah, and we have, well, I think it's really, you know, one thing that helps me when I want to get support is to understand just a little bit in advance, like what's the process? Because then my my body and my mind are already enrolling in the class. And I know I'm going to be coming together with other people that have that same goal to complete something really important. Um, so let's see here. Hi, Julie. Hi, Gilbert. Hi, Adriana. Welcome to the call. If any of you have any books, uh, excuse me, questions about book writing, please um, post them because I can see your Facebook feed um, coming in and uh, love having you with us. We've got a nice turnout today. This is super awesome. Now, I want to share something with all of you while Debbie's pulling up her class outline. Um, I have written a fair number of books and I've sold them as info books and I can't stress it enough. I have a 192 page book I wrote on how to read your own hands and um, I included audios and transcripts and it took me uh, about 60 days and really probably for only four or five days of solid work because of following this kind of process. Uh, and at some point I'm just going to publish the book as a book. Uh, and it's been one of the best money generators for my business, one of the best ways to garner speaking opportunities. And the great thing with a book is you can offer chapters as, as gifts, um, you can give them as teasers, you can extract content for articles, uh, you can turn it into a product. It has multiple uses. Um, as, as one of my coaches once said to me, a book is the best business card you've got. And if it's well written and a page turner, uh, you're going to get media and speaking gigs like you can't believe. Because like Debbie said, most people don't finish the book. Only 20% mm -hmm. of you will finish the book. And that puts you in that upper 20%. So Debbie, tell us about uh, the journey itself of writing this book in 60 days. Because I Fantastic. think this is the most awesome thing that you are doing. And honestly, folks, I just want you to know, pre-caveat, I'm doing this once. I'm literally doing this once because what I do out in the world is visibility. I do. I have clients who come to me with their book, and I turn it into a guaranteed international bestseller. I have clients who get the big visibility package, and we work on their book, but we also work on their visibility using media out in the world so that they start getting booked all over the right, place. Right. We message with ease. I'm doing this this one time because for the folks who have not written their book, I am showing up That's to right. make sure That's this right. year it yep. happens. So Terrific. here is the, your classes. Class one is write a book in 60 days. That is literally, I'm going to give you the formula how to break your particular book down. That's what I love is that across the board, any book you bring, any idea, any genre, you can institute it into what I'm going to teach you break it down and know exactly how you have to show up every day. So mm -hmm. I'm going to be teaching you how to crunch the numbers to write your book and understand what you need to do either daily or weekly and also where to write. I mean, there's things like where should you be writing? Should you be at a Starbucks? Should you be holed up in an office? What hours should you be writing? What works best for you? How can you get it done? And I'm going to really teach you a lot of stuff around how to get it done so that there's a lot of ease. So when we have numbers and you know, oh, okay, I need to do this every week. This is what I'm going to do in order to make the eight weeks. Well, I want you to have a lot of ease there and not a lot of distractions. No, class. no, before you go to, before go to, before you go to class two, before you go to class two, I have to, I have to give you a little testimonial here. Can yeah. I, can I tell them about what's in your hands? Cause you all know I'm a hand analyst. You know, I look at everybody's hands. Can I share huh. a little bit? Yeah, sure. That's All interesting. Right. It's, good, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. <laughs> so Debbie's life purpose is creativity. And 
manifesting creativity for others. So her purpose is this twofold thing where she's manifesting her own creativity, which you're experiencing right now by putting this class together. And then she helps people step into their own spotlight. I mean, she's absolutely in her life purpose. I'm sure you can feel it, but I, I just want to stress that you are in your brilliance with what you're doing. And you know, I, I just stand behind anything you do because you've helped me so much and I'm so much more visible because of your support. Thank so, you. Thank yeah. you for saying that. And yeah. thank, um, I, I really appreciate it. And you're so brilliant at what you do. And it's true. You know, um, we all go through life. Sometimes we know exactly why we're here. And sometimes it's a little bit of a switchback trying to figure it out. And I was born everything you look at my numerology, my name, my birth date, my hands, everything is all about mass communication. Yes. So I show up, you know, whether it's the red carpet or it's books or people meeting, you know, a little open up the door there. And I also use the gift of clairsentience when I work with people because it's so much easier than trying to figure things out at an intellectual level. So between the two, I'm showing up just because, look, my soul decided in this life that's my path. So here I be, folks. Uh, oh, that's great. All right, so week number one, where to write, how to write, laying it out, getting everything, getting the foundation in place. All right, what happens in module two? Module two is called designing and telling your story. I have to tell you, I am now that I'm reading these, I am dying to click on each one and really start getting into it because I'm getting very excited. <laughs> but think about that. So week one, you are learning exactly what you need to do and you're starting to write, by the way. You are starting at that first class. Week two, now you're, you've got some stuff that's happening. You've got something taking shape and form. Now I want to talk to you about how to design that, how to yeah. actually tell that. Yay. Week three, that's when we're dealing with the page turner. I really want you to crank out an amazing book. I want you, when your book is published in this year, I want you to be able to sit back and say, that was a fine book. Mm -hmm. That was good work. I put my heart and soul into that and look what I created. Big time. Yeah. Week four. Oh my God, am I excited about this. So week four is writing about fear. Ooh. So I'll give you a little secret here. But it is my contention that we need to write what we're most afraid to talk about. Mm-hmm. I'm, no, I'm typing in notes to the group. Okay, writing about fear. Yes, and I will tell you a little, um, we'll pull back the curtain a little bit, that it's everything from the thing you don't want anybody to know about you, that can become, if you're writing a novel, that can certainly be part of one of your character's situations or concerns. If you're writing about yourself and writing wisdom, it must go there. Like That's right. The greatest books are when you pull back the curtain and say, here I fully am mm -hmm. in all of my glory, good, bad, the ugly, and people will love you, resonate, get you, connect with you. Right. And it makes the most powerful book. So you think that thing you think that nobody should ever know about you is the very thing you need to put down on paper and write it. Yeah, it really is. So I asked, I asked them, I said, you know, write in, um, what, what do you most fear? And so people are starting to put in comments. Um, yeah, I absolutely agree. That's where the power is. That's where That's the power, where the power is. is. That's right. right. You okay. access so, fear because it's just energy and you let it rip and then it has no control over you, but it actually works on your behalf and makes people fall in love with you. And you can create a really interesting character if you're not writing that's about right. you. That's right. That's right. So, um, so tell us about the next piece. So class five. Yeah. Yes. Class again, five. Dying to open these, oh my God, these folders. This is killing me. <laughs> it's good to be succinct on Facebook Live. <laughs> Don't open the folders yet. Save it for the class. <laughs> Oops, I double clicked. <laughs> you know, that is going to be a class solely on writing tips. And, I'm, uh, and that's all I'm doing. Writing tips, writing tips. I'm teaching from all points of view things that are possible. This is also when the expert is coming on and is going to be available to 
everybody. You're going to have a lot of questions. This person, I'm keeping them under wraps until the launch. And um, also, this is a time for the class to come forward. Like lots of questions because you're deep in it now. You've passed the halfway mark, mm -hmm. and there's going to be a, a, a sumptuous time to start sharing your journey. But I mean the journey through reading your pages. So we're really checking in, and. Um, Ooh, so hard to not start sharing completely, but it's all about viewpoints. It's all about secrets. It's all about uh, the various acts of a book and structure. It's all about general writing wisdom and how not to over plan, how to yeah. just get going. I love that. All right. Number six, class number, number six. Number six is, oh, it's the engine. It's the engine that drives your book. And that's a big secret and it's never what you think it is. Can you give us an example of an engine? Okay. Um, so to give you an example and not give, give it away. So there's an engine. I would love to hear what people think actually, um, what they think an engine is that would drive your book. I'm, I'm completely open to hearing your points of view, but right, let me write in um, there. I'm going to ask them, what do you think the engine of the book is? Great. And you might think it's plot. You might think it's characters. Mm -hmm. I think really it's probably emotion, but that would be my guess. <laughs> Could be wrong. You don't have to tell us. All right. So that's the engine. I love that. Let's just leave it suspenseful. Yeah. And, then, and I'll right. give you a word and uh -huh. then you may want to okay. come by and figure out what the word is, but it's actually information density. Information it's, density. Mm-hmm. Information density. Okay, because Gabriella wrote in, she said, your purpose. <laughs> Is and it your purpose? You no, know, because that would depend what kind of book you're writing. That's right. Because right? it could be, a, could be a coffee table book. But I just want to say information density, just so you have, it's really about you're just right for you. The density of the good stuff in the book. It's about conveying information in a pleasing and gripping way. So those are two different, right? Juxtaposition, yes. pleasing and gripping. Like, wow, so how do I do that? How do I get all the bells and whistles down? What is the soundtrack of my book? Right, right. Okay, so number seven. What happens number seven? Number seven is the writer's checklist. So this is, okay, we're second to last class. We are together because I really want you to know you're going to be held to this class so you're on track. I'm showing up live, you show up live, and let me tell you, this is more than possible. So when that happens, we're gonna go down the checklist so you make sure that everything you need is aligned for you to complete by week eight. And then week eight, I will tell you that I already have people who have signed up and registered for the class sending me questions. And I love them. I love them because they're hungry. I mm -hmm. love them for they're so ready. And yes. I've already told them, like, yes. we have a Facebook private page. We're going to have our own group. So you let it rip because I am here to serve you and help guide you in the best possible way. So week eight is our wrap up. This is going to be our celebration class, but also our making damn sure everybody's ready by the end of that class to get their book published. All right. So, so Debbie, yeah. sorry to interrupt. Where do they go? Where do they go to find out about the class? Ah, well. I have, and you'll have to forgive me, I sent that to you, so let me look for that too. Oh, you have, you have to look. Keep going. Talk about that. I'll pull up the link, and I'll make sure everybody has it. I would love that. Yeah, it's, link, is though. it mybestsellerbook.com? Well, mybestsellerbook.com is how to get your book, once it's completed, into bestseller status. Okay. So if you finish your book, and you're ready to let it rip into international bestseller land, that's a guaranteed service. Absolutely. That's the website. You can also write to me, bestseller at debbiebashinger.com, a very interesting spelled name. So Great, because I have multiple links for you. So if you want, just paste the link into the chat. Yeah. And I'll just make sure everybody's got the link. Okay. Because uh, I know many, many of the people in our community are writers. And thank you all for joining us. So great to have you all with us. And I would say the debbie-dashinger.com slash replay will take you right to the registration page if you're hot and ready. And Great. if you're wanting to look at the webinar, I will get you that. And I just passed by it. Link and such. 
So we'll get that for you. Easy peasy lemon squeeze. Okay, great. I'm going to give them the, I'm going to give them the link to the webinar in case they want to get more information. Okay. Fabulous. Yep. Wonderful. So, okay. So they've gone through this class. They have a book. Mm -hmm. Then what? Well, then it's publishing time. Although yes. right before you publish, there's one very, very, very important step there's a couple of very important steps but the most important step dear god get it professionally edited mm. please 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 don't think that your friend is going to read it and pick out the little mistakes or that you're going to read it because you're too close to your material must must put aside an investment to have an amazing editor because they will shape your work you'll make it so professional and beautiful and they'll find anything that's erroneous with it and clean it up that would Great. be your next thing and most important thing. There are other steps. Would you like to hear? Yes, I would like to hear. Definitely. The other steps would be you need a fabulous book cover. And if you're going to do a book cover, well, you want a picture that represents your book. And I would recommend either do a dark background with white writing or mm -hmm. a white background with dark writing. Very simple. You also will need endorsements. You want to make a wish list. I was just on the phone with clients today talking about this, the endorsements for your book. You want to create a wish list who are colleagues in your mm -hmm. field, like anybody you could reach out to to write your endorsement, who would that be? Anybody in the field that you don't know, it's fine. You can go to their website and get their contact information. Anybody in your life who's notable, who has a name, and some sticking power or as a fellow author who's noteworthy. So put together a wish list. You want to write a beautiful little email succinct and say, this is, will you write an endorsement for my book? If so, I will send you a galley or a proof. If you do, I need it to be very definitive by this date. I will also need to know what is your name, how you want it spelled and the title. And let me know. I will send you the proof of my book. Some so people, great. by the way, just so you know how the world works today, many people are going to read your book and send you lots of love and write something fabulous. Some people just say, no, blah, blah, move on. And there are people out there who are just so busy will say, do you mind terribly to send me a sample or two? And I will pick from the two endorsements and put my name to it. Right. So just keeping it real, that will happen with some people. But you do want to get those endorsements. And listen, if you get a huge name, if I write to Bette Midler, and I say, hey, bet, if you don't mind, I love an endorsement for my book. <laughs> Sophie, can we talk? And Bet writes back, Debbie, baby, I got you. And she writes, Debbie's words are like honey. They changed my world and I'm singing her tune. Are you serious? I'm going to lift that and put that right on the cover of my book, right mm -hmm. atop my title, everything else. Because that's what everyone's going to see, and yep. they will buy my book because of that endorsement, that name. That's right. That's right. All right. Well, does anyone have any questions? We've got a nice turnout here on Facebook. Please type in your question for uh, Debbie, and uh, we have a little delay, and we will bring on, uh, bring on the questions right about now. Okay. And while you do that, People I am- are so shy. So yeah. shy. Silly creatures. So I know silly creatures. Come on, yeah. silly creatures. This is your opportunity to ask anything you want. Anything you want. Not about, about Los book. Angeles, but about <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, what, what is the book? And, or just tell us yeah. what's the book you want to create out into the world. That would be wonderful too. Yeah. Maybe just if, if you all, you would just type in the kind of book, uh, you don't have to give it away, but is it a healing book? Uh, is it a, a, a self-help book? Um, oh, here's a great question. This is from Ashley. What about the marketing part after the publishing? So you've written it, you've published it. How do you market it? Wow. I love that the question somebody asked is that huge. Yes. That's a huge question. So it I'm is. not going to lie, but um, let me see what's possible. Um, so, okay. Marketing, thank you for asking that because marketing is tremendous. You can write a book, but who cares? Okay. I'm trying so hard to send this to you. 
Oh, what I are think? you trying to send? I'm trying to send you that link. I think I already said do... that. I already posted the link. You can just answer the question. So what about the mar the links already out there? What about the marketing okay. part? Yeah, don't worry about the link. Great. And the Great. replay That's will it. go out too. Uh, so the marketing part, maybe you could give us an example of, you know, a client that you worked with, oh. they got their book done, they got it published. And then what were some of the ways in which you got it out there for them? Sure. So, wow. Well, it's ongoing, you know, and I even have clients right now. I just want to address the marketing piece though, because a lot of people write a book and they don't recognize that this much of the book is in the front side. Really, the 90% is on the back side. Mm. So if you don't have a marketing plan, your book will just be sitting on a print-for-demand shelf somewhere and not be read. And that's not why you put all that hard work into it. So marketing is everything. You need a plan. A plan usually takes six months to a year. Unless you hire a team like myself to handle it for you, then it can be done much quicker and much more efficiently while you do your brilliance. If you want to do your own marketing plan, by the way, I've got a product, Easy Peasy. You can do it on your own and you need a timeline. That's the most important thing is to understand all the components of what goes into it. Uh, every single one of my clients are different because they're all functioning at different places. Right. So uh, right now, for instance, my client, Steve, I'll talk about, uh, we're going to roll out his book in two weeks and Steve is a team. So every time we get on one of our collaboration calls and I, I my team is working hard. So I guarantee what I'm going to do, but Steve likes to play a huge game. Steve is very visible in the world. So we're going to take his book where we never had before. So we're going to be doing all new things with Steve and right. all new press releases and all new book video trailers and uh, have him do other videos. We've got massive social media being signed up. I'm going to do a, a massive Twitter. I'm going to do something new for him, a massive uh, Twitter a splurge like I've never done before with all new uh, Twitter followers with millions of people out there. Um, we're going to get his book into all new hands. We're going to the CEOs of these massive companies that he works with. We're going to work with. Right. I'm going to do a Facebook Live. You know, there's so there's so many pieces that go into it, but it has to have a trajectory. So by the date of your book launch, everything's in place. There's a lot of knowledge out there that your book exists, that you're doing something special, and then everybody's in and they want to buy your book for your book launch. So I just want to interject here, if I understand correctly, and for everyone watching is that your program is the first piece is to get the book written totally. and then after that you need an editor and mm -hmm. then if people want to hire you or use your program to market the book that's the next piece and does it make sense for people to also maybe simultaneously begin incorporating the marketing piece and studying it so or should they just wait till the book is done do you, do you have any thoughts about that i do you know, I think that writing a book is a feat. I really do. And I think it warrants our attention. So I would highly recommend, look, if you want to get a program that you can listen to as you drive or as you walk and start absorbing that, that's perfectly fine while you're writing your book, 100%. But otherwise, I would say just focus on the book. And as you get close to the end of the book or when you're about to hand something off maybe to the editor, then you can start focusing on that if you're going to do it on your own. Otherwise, if you're going to hire some people to do it, absolutely. I would say when you know you're close to the final draft of your manuscript, yeah, you need to know what your next steps are marketing-wise. Terrific, terrific. And, I, and I'm uh, assuming towards the end of the class, you'll let people know how they can continue with you if they would like your support, yes? Oh yes, because I am a thousand percent about building relationship. Yeah. I mean, the reason why people work with me, uh, come back to me when they translate their book into another language or have me on retainer, there's a reason, there's a real solid relationship. There's a lot of value that's provided. So 100%, you know, anybody who is ready for the next right step, I am so excited to keep guiding them because this is my field. This is what I love to do. Well, it's in your hands too. Your life purpose is, is creative messenger in the spotlight. So there you go. Um, yeah, all right. How to write your book in 60 days. What are we talking in terms of the investment? How much is the investment for all that you're giving them? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the investment really is $1,997. But because I told you I'm doing this one time only, first of all, I've included unbelievable bonuses that I'm super excited about. Tell us like, about the bonuses. What are the bonuses? Well, you know about the expert. I already gave yeah, that away. Special famous expert. Yes. Famous expert. 
We also have a video, your first, the second you register, you get your first writing exercise, which is, it's very powerful. Changed my life as a writer, so I'm sharing it with you. You're gonna get an audio that starts breaking down writing. I don't even want you to wait till the first class. You're gonna start getting information right away. There's a video that's phenomenal, tons of information, lots of guidance, and I think you're, if you have any anxiety about writing or meeting the deadline, I think all of that's gonna go away, and you're gonna know. I got this. This is going to yeah. happen. So there's a ton of information that's going to come your way. There's the masterminding group. There's the private Facebook group, right? private Facebook group for just us. And I am taking the price because I'm doing it this one time only down to $697. So if you want to write your book and you want to show up live, so will I to help you. And to make it easier for anyone who feels like even that may be a stretch. You can pay three ninety three ninety seven for two months. This is Pull sort of a no Very brainer. Six ninety seven to get your book written in sixty days. Like I don't know a single person who's in business that can't swing that. So yeah, I just I, want to say to everyone listening, if the time is now, what are you waiting for? Right. If the year is now to write your book, and hello, this is a one year of manifestation. It yes, it is. The universe could not be more at your back. Next year is a two year. That's about collaboration and being in harmony with others. If this is your year, if you have a book, this is the time to do it. And you know, before the end of the year, you could say, I'm a published author. You oh. may be able to say, I'm a best selling oh. published author. I love it. I love it. This is so terrific. And Beth. welcome to everyone who joined us Erica and Holly and Trish. All right. Trish. All right. Yeah, you know I want Trish. to ask, I do know Trish. Yes. She's hilarious. I want to ask you about your book. What, tell me what's going on with your book. Are you hitting any potholes that are throwing you? Are you, um, is there any discomfort or? Are you asking me? I am. About my book? I am. <laughs> Putting you on the spot. Well, I have not started writing my book, my next book, because I've been launching this podcast. But I, I think you're probably the fifth person in two weeks who said, has said to me, how's your book coming? I'm like, what book? You mean the eight different book ideas I have? So I'm very excited about this class, personally. I, I think it's going to be a game changer for me and my book. And I hope a bunch of you listening are going to join the class as well. Um, wouldn't that be fun? Yes. Us, us soul sisters and brothers that all know each other at the end of your class all have our books, our next books. I mean, for me, it won't be my first book, um, but I want to write a different kind of book. So if I'm going mm. to share a little bit about what I want to write about, mm. what I've been asked to write about, and I like to do things in response to my environment. That's how I create best is enough people ask for it and I sit with it and go, okay, yeah, I'm willing to do that is to write about my own spiritual journey, to write about my own life, because it's highly entertaining, especially <laughs> me, and uh, be fun to write about. Uh, I think it's relatable, but I think the main thing that I hope to convey in writing about my life is uh, what it is to be free, mm. what real freedom is. And you and I were talking about that earlier. I'm pretty good with just flying by the seat of my pants and letting the universe take me where I'm supposed to go. And almost everything that's unfolded in my life, I didn't plan. I had no idea it was coming. All my friends, I mean, you and I, like, how did we meet? I don't even remember. We just kept bumping into each other and the universe kept bringing you into my field. And I thought, okay, she and I are mm -hmm. supposed to be friends for life. Mm -hmm. right, you were one of those, you know, the keepers. Um, so the for tribe. me, yeah, tribe, a tribe. So th this book is very much about digging very deep and sharing with the reader what it was that has prompted me to say yes to these opportunities, many of which were very scary, mm -hmm. unconventional. There mm -hmm. was no blueprint mm -hmm. for what I've attempted to do. Um, I sought out people that had expertise. I mean, I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on courses, and it, apparently I'm now spending another 697 as of today. <laughs> I'm doing the class. Everyone, I'm doing the class. I didn't even, I didn't, I wasn't sure what the she's class down, was. She's down, she's in. Right, but I want to do this class because um, I don't want another person asking me how the book's going and for me to say, I haven't, I haven't done anything on it. And 
this book has been requested of me for about 20 years. And I feel wow. now 20 years, I have some hindsight and a bit of maturity to share uh, about how I have allowed my life to unfold organically and the, what it's allowed me. Um, I make a lot of money doing what I'm doing. I mean, you, my surroundings, I apologize, everyone. I'm in a one room Airbnb because my house, long story, under construction. And I'm not going to move back to my house because I don't want to. I want to go to France and Ibiza. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Maybe I'll write the book from there. Um, but that's what I mean. My life just keeps doing what it does. And it has given me great courage and great fortitude. And basically what I'm trying to say is so much fun. Right? I get to hang out with people like you, Debbie. Mm. I have the most wonderful people in my life, and my work allows me to support people in being their true, authentic self. So I figure if I, get, if I get real and down with the reader about my real, authentic self, I tend to hide. I don't really like to be vulnerable about myself, and I think that this would be cathartic. Even if I never published it, just to write it, just to write it would be... A healing exercise so I love that by yeah. the way what a beautiful way to end not so much the not publishing thing we can talk about that oh I probably <laughs> will I'm just saying to anyone hesitant to put the word out there write it as a healing exercise and 100%. then you can decide once it's written oh this hey this is pretty good maybe I'll publish it but I think if we take things in stages in steps life is so much less overwhelming don't worry about publishing it don't worry about the marketing Get it out on the page. Get 100%. It, right? Yes, because if you take that point of view, if you literally write from the point of view, like, I want to heal, what needs to come out of me? Just to trust that flow, that's the book right there. And of yes. course, editing, you know, you'll take anything extraneous that doesn't belong, it'll come out later. That's another tip, by the way. Do not edit as you write. Uh -huh. Just write. Let yeah. it flow and trust that later, that's another process. And if you have a big critic that shows up a lot and tries to edit as you write or tell you, oh, well, that's weird. Why are you sharing that? Or that's a little too much. You know, we don't talk about that in our family. Thank so much, the critic. Thank you so much for sharing. That was really cool of you to show up. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to use you later when it comes to one of the other drafts and editing. But for yes. right now, mm -hmm. you know, I just need the people who are willing to show up and tell the truth. So trust that. Fantastic. Trust that. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. Does anyone have any questions here on uh, Facebook about your book or are you, do you dare to post even the theme of what you think you're going to write about? Yeah. Or maybe tell us what stopped you from writing mm -hmm. or what you're afraid of. We're open for quite free coaching. Do you know how much it costs to hire us for coaching? I'm always <laughs> a, like, how so do true. people have no question? I get paid 1500 bucks for a session. And I just did a session Saturday. You know, I, I mean, it's, and I'm just astounded. No questions. I, I guess, you know, we've just answered all their questions. That's fine. <laughs> well, oh man. Okay. Well, you know, you can bring them to water. You can't make a drink and people are shy and I totally get it. And their names associated with their questions. So what I want to say to you all is what's, uh, let's give them your email. If they have questions, what's yeah. the best way to reach you, Debbie? Yeah, I think that email I gave out earlier is a great email because the support team also sees that. It's bestseller at debbie-singer.com. So it's okay. bestseller. And you see my very interesting name, D-E-B-B-I, D is -E in David, A-C-H-I-N-G-E-R.com. And just send me anything there. Also, she's going to put the links for the webinar. Look, it's a free webinar. Yep. Hour and 24 minutes of me sharing everything about writing nothing i've covered here by the way but right. unbelievable point so please enjoy that and once you register you're going to start getting lots of free stuff i mean you know free this minute audio with new writing tips a report that teaches you how to write a book i'm really showing up uno in the one year time. one one time to do this so i love it well i love that you're doing it one time and then you can turn it into a product and it's evergreen, which is brilliant. I'm a big fan of do it once, rinse, repeat. Um, <laughs> the price is right. And I just want to say to you all, if it's time to get your book done, I'm going to do the class. I've decided I'm doing the class. I don't know how the heck I'm going to do it with eight bazillion things I have going on, but I love to work. I'm a workhorse. And frankly, I've been bored. 
and I need another project, right? I launched mm -hmm. my podcast. That's going great. Not bored with that, but it's underway. And I was laying in my bed last night going, God, I have got to create something. Mm -hmm. when I so creative. When I create, I'm happy. In fact, I read a quote today and it said something like, instead of noticing what's not there and wishing for something in your future, create. Hmm. create now is the moment all we have is right now and, and create will bring it yeah. forward right 100 and you know what one thing i know about life is the moment i step into creation things start showing up the most magical miraculous grace filled things i would have never anticipated it's absolutely had a step into the treasure of your life oh it's so so good it's so good all right everyone i posted the webinar okay here's a question um, Bamboo writes in, what about nonfiction? I mean, is it most of the stuff that people do with you nonfiction? Or is it all across the board? All across the board. Um, so what about nonfiction? So I, I'm not sure what that question means, but- if, Yeah, what but, about nonfiction? Right, but do you mean, do you wanna bring it to the class? Then a thousand percent. Right. When I say all, it's not only all genres, by the way, this is a global class. So your fellow participants will be I already know we have Canadians in the class, you know, U.S. people, someone from England. So just know people are coming from all sorts of places. And that's all you need is to want to be an author. That's right, it. Yeah. If well, you have nonfiction, know, full steam ahead. Well, I know that Bamboo here um, is a, a phenomenal uh, healer and teacher. Mm -hmm. And I've been on her case about documenting and writing a book uh, kind of two books. I, I think the first book would be actually, this is my opinion, but um, would be the book for the technician and then a book for the layperson or the book for the layperson and then book for the technician because um, she's got one of those amazing science brains, you know, it's this incredible um, mm. um, reservoir of healing knowledge. And, uh, and I know for Bamboo, uh, because we've known each other for such a long time. I'm, I'm outing her a little bit. Um, it's going to increase her invitations to speak because she's such a compelling, uh, Bamboo, I don't mean to talk about you like you're not there. Bamboo, you are such a compelling, funny, uh, in terms of humorous, witty speaker. And um, audiences just adore her because of her warmth and her um, self-deprecation a, a com coupled with this wisdom. So I, I think, I, I hope that she does the book too. I hope she does the class with us. Um, and I love that you're a healer and also involved with science. So because you've got that healer aspect, I'll give you a little tip here. With all the possibilities of what you could write, and maybe you know full well what you wanna write. And if you or anybody else who's watching, listening doesn't, ask the book. Literally, the book is an entity waiting to be born. And the easiest conversation you can have is to ask the book, what do you want to be? Mm -hmm. And let it guide you. And it happens while you write, too. If you ever come across anything, I don't even believe in writer's block. I mean, literally, conversations with book make everything flow. Because I'm telling you, it's going to come out and be published and have a total personality. It's going to have its own journey. It's gonna, I mean, it's phenomenal. So talk to the book. What kind of book are you here to write? and it will help you to write it. Oh, so Debbie, any final thoughts for our viewers today about writing their book in 60 days? Yeah, I think that, um, you know, if this has been on your bucket list or in your heart or has felt like something, you know, you've entertained on some level, but just never knew how to get behind, never knew how to step forward or even like Beth, you know, I have other people who are coming also have written books and just like, I think I'm going to do it this way this time. Whatever it is, you know, just honor the calling. Mm -hmm. If you're here, mm -hmm. you probably have a calling. There's a, probably a reason yep. that you want to be an author. Just honor that journey. Eight weeks, that ain't nothing in the scheme of life, right? But the yep. legacy you leave behind when you have something in print that came from you, through you, out into the world, there's a reason where you're given the book and the message and you also have the power to make it come true. Yeah. So go be an author. That's great. Thank you. And you're welcome, Bamboo. Thanks for being with us. Uh, thank you, Debbie. You know, just last night I pulled a book off the shelf here at this, where I'm staying at the Airbnb and there's all this, all these amazing books, like some of them you would know and some of them I've never seen before. And some of them about UFO conspiracies and I'm like, <laughs> they're just fantastic books. Right. And 
Christianity and, and Kabbalah, like it's all over the map, right? Okay. And so I pulled a book off by, remember Liev Ullman? She's still alive. She was yeah. Ingmar Bergman's muse, that amazing Norwegian actress. Yes. She wrote two uh, autobiographies. And so I just started reading her autobiography last night, Changing. Mm -hmm. And I, it's interesting, the timing of this, because I started reading it. And it's such a beautiful, transparent book. It's almost like mm -hmm. you're inside her head and she's sifting through the thoughts of her life. And it, I found it very inspiring. So to talk with you today, I'm like, yeah, I, it's, I want to write an autobiography. Yes. I really want to share what's clanking around in my head and my heart and just get it down on the page for starters, because in reading her book, um, I could feel the freedom for her as a soul. And of course, the book sold millions of copies and it empowered a whole generation of women in particular to really appreciate their femininity, their creativity. And that's the power of a book is that when we really put our souls out, it empowers others to um, be their full selves. And I think, Debbie, you're such a tremendous uh, champion, champion for the, the messenger who needs just a little nudge and wonderful structure and support because you are unconditionally loving in the way that you coach. Um, I don't think I've ever experienced you being judgmental, which I can't say about <laughs> Many people, myself included, <laughs> I would not say I'm a non-judgmental person. I'm very opinionated, um, but you're so loving and so supportive. And the other thing, and I want to say to all of you joining us, welcome to the welcome to the live stream if you've just joined us, uh, is that you're freaking organized as all get out, and you know your shiz, like you know, <laughs> you know what you're doing, and. Mm -hmm. And you organize your content in such a beautiful, elegant way. You make it look effortless, but I, I know how hard you work. I know the, the, the detail and thoroughness. So I just want to say to all of you listening, if you're ready to get your book done, $697, eight-part live class with Debbie and her special expert guest, and you're going to have a book. A book. A book. A book. This, isn't a, this is a journal, but you will have a book. So. Yes. Yes. So any final parting uh, words to our audience? Well, I love that you brought up memoir and autobiography. I mean, that is a really, um, that talk about pulling back the curtain. That's yeah. a, really, it's a huge undertaking being willing to share at that level. So the fact mm -hmm. that you're even thinking about that, a hundred percent full steam ahead, um, that you're surrounded by books. What a beautiful thing. And yeah, the power of words. You know, what else is there to say? The power of words. And it comes to us digitally. It comes to us through hardcover. It comes to us through soft print. We read them on our tablets, on our phones, on our computers. We listen to them through audiobook. That's but right. Books are one of the most powerful ways to connect and to receive a vision, imagination, a story, someone's life. They're not going away, kids. So if it is in your wheelhouse, this is for you. This is for you. And um, thank you for honoring my research. I really appreciate it. And just so you know, it's not, um, it's not a job for me. I'm also a nerd. I'm a total nerd. So for me to research stuff, I, uh, I like that. I like that structure because I feel like if you're going to entrust me with guiding you in your book for eight weeks, they, I'm going to show up and do a damn good job. Yeah, so <laughs> we're going to have a good time together and we're going to get shit done. Oh, it's terrific. It's just terrific. Well, thank you all for everyone who joined us today. And uh, we've had a lot of people come on the, come on our um, live stream. And of course it'll be posted there. And uh, Debbie, if you want to uh, share it from my page, feel free. And any of you watching, if you want to yeah. share this with your audience, we really, really appreciate it. Debbie's doing how to write your book in 60 days, one time, one time, and you'll have her live to support you. And the price is peanuts. And, um, oh yes, Ashley's asking, when does it start? When does the class start? Beautiful. It starts September 26th, which is a Tuesday. Okay. So mark it on your calendar. And when you register, you'll get the Pacific time, the Eastern time, the Indian time, everything. Great. So. Wonderful. September 26th. Terrific. Yep. Terrific. Well, I'm going to do the class because I'm crazy, but I'm going to do it. I don't know how I'm going to fit this into my schedule, but I want to do it with you live. And I know you keep your word. You won't do it again. Mm -hmm. um, and for those of you joining us, uh, a lot of you came on. If you feel called, 
um, I, you know, I'll be in the class too. And uh, I'm always happy to read people's stuff. People send me their stuff to read every week. I don't know what it is. They're like, give it to Beth to read. So I'm also available just to, you know, be a support in the class as well. If you just want someone to look at your stuff. Um, and that's Debbie. awesome. And we'll have accountability partners. Yes, you can great. always partner up with somebody so you Terrific. can get extra support. You know, and I'm always, um, uh, and however you need me, Debbie, I'm, I'm here. So, um, yeah. Any, any, okay, I've asked you this like three times, but anything else? <laughs> PSS. <laughs> PSS. Oh, oh, Sophie said, she said, it's been very interesting. Thank you, Beth and Debbie. You're welcome, Sophie. That's awesome. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. I really yeah. appreciate it. For everybody who stuck around this entire time, it's been phenomenal. You know, and just imagine, I mean, we're just pushing around, but imagine if you really sit down with some forethought and together we're working on this just that's right you know what is possible and as soon nope. as and by the way and don't even make this an intellectual process if you're feeling like i really want to write a book i really want to be an author you know the energy we all know the energy if you're called to yep. do something please honor it and make your life simple don't go back and forth a million times and try to figure that's out right. nothing's logical you that's know right what you're supposed to be and i want to let you all know when this recording ends and once it transcodes to facebook for the replay i will post all the links so you can watch the informational webinar that debbie has available right. you can reach out to her office if you want um, to ask questions directly of debbie if you'd rather do that privately the class starts september 26 it is a mere 697 dollars and uh for that under 700 bucks if you show up and you do the work, you're going to have your book written. And oh my gosh, that's just extraordinary. Mm -hmm. You know, and I've been offered these book classes many, many times, Debbie. And they never, I was always like, meh, I just, you know, I just never felt called, you know, be like, write a book in a weekend, right? It just always felt almost too compressed. And this feels just right. Like it's short enough for my short attention span that I can commit because I have a really short attention span. And it's long enough, it's long enough where I feel like, yes, I can really do something quality. Mm. And that's the sweet spot for me. And I think it is for a lot of people because we're really busy. Um, and they're, you know, we're bombarded with a lot of opportunity. And I think this mm. is just phenomenal. So I love you very much. I love you. Thank you. I, I am so pleased you're putting your genius out in the world in this way. And uh, everyone, uh, this is Beth signing off. And, and Debbie, Debbie anything you want to say yeah. to sign off and we'll sign off. Yeah. I wish you your words, your book, love, and um, come work with me and let's make this happen. And Beth, thank you. Thank you for this beautiful, sumptuous time with you. Oh, gorgeous. Girl. Oh, you're so welcome. Mm -hmm. Bye for now. Bye. Okay.